Faith is equated with obedience in the Bible. A man of faith is a man who walks in obedience. Hmm? My God. If God calls you and you obey, you are walking by faith. God calls you, you run away. You are walking in disobedience. And you are walking in unbelief. When you wonder whether God can look after you. Eh? Before you take a step. You can't take steps. Because. You can't believe. You can't obey. Because you can't believe. Jump. Jump. Why? What's the reason? What's happening? Why are you shouting? Ah. Because he has seen something you haven't seen. But because you can't believe or receive from the vessel or from the instructor, you stand at the same place without jumping. But somebody else who believes jumps and runs even further and then asks, why are you asking me to jump? So, there was a scorpion by your foot. Oh, thank you very much. But for some people, everything is why. Everything is who. Everything is what? Everything is when? Everything is why? Everything is how? Eh? What is it? Eh? Why? Oh, take your time. Ah, ah. Why? Is it necessary? All these things. What is this? You see. So your faith in God, eh? If you want to really show that you have faith, you obey. You obey. Let me take you to Deuteronomy. Chapter 9. At Tabera, verse 22, and at Massa, and at Kibroth Hatava, ye provoke the Lord to wrath. Likewise, when the Lord sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, go up, and possess the land which I have given you. Then ye rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God. And ye believed not. Nor hearkened to his voice. He sent you from Kadesh Barnea. And he said go up and possess the land which I have given to you. I have given the land. Go up and possess it. Then ye rebelled against the commandment of the lord your god and ye believed not kadesh Barnea is where he sent them to go and spy the promised land and they brought report and caleb he sent 12 spies caleb and joshua they came back to say where na land hey na milk and honey the land is fine, oh, and the, there are giants there, the sons of Anak, but their strength is gone from them. They have heard how God has given us victory over different people, and their strength has gone from them. How God parted the Red Sea, how God brought his people out of Egypt with a mighty hand, and he slaughtered the Amalekites for their sake. We can take the land. But the ten spies encouraged all the people and they rebelled and they decided they won't go. They formed a group that we are returning. We, we are going back to Egypt. <laughs> they said, when God says go, take the land, I've given it to you. You can occupy. Then you look at the obstacle standing in front of you. You say, I won't go. So he says that and you believed him not. Yes. You rebelled and believed him not. Because your obedience would have signified your faith in what God has said. But you decided not to go. Only Caleb and Joshua were the only grown-ups who were more than 20 years who made it to the promised land. You can call yourself Caleb and you can call your son Joshua. 
But it doesn't mean that you have the faith that they had and you had the spirit that they had. You have to learn that these were men in spite of the obstacles, in spite of how uncertain the, the days ahead and the weeks ahead and the months ahead and the years ahead and the giants that stood in front of them were, in spite of all that, they said, God will give us the victory. Let us not return. Let us not rebel. Let us run into the land the land is for us there are people here i tell you ministry is for you the call of god is for you and you have to learn that it doesn't take seeing the the visibility of prosperity and visibility of houses and cars before you say oh i I, when i was a child i haven't had a dream Eh? and i was preaching somewhere and i realized that i've been called because your eyes are on the cars your eyes are on the houses but these men whom you see eh, there was no house in fact when i decided to come foot into full time ministry i was told that there will be no car, car i said car there will be no house and i said fine I'll, I'll i've saved enough i'll rent a place so my friend was going to america he was doing exams to go to america and he needed a place for his wife to stay so we agreed to share a house we, we, he and his one son that they had given birth to will be in one room me and my wife and my son who was also born a month after his son will also be in one room then we share the toilet and bath so the toilet was one type of toilet common in the house and bathroom and one kitchen and one sitting room that's how i entered the full-time ministry without accommodation today's children cannot enter accommodation i i I said full-time ministry without accommodation today's children cannot respond to the call of god because god said go i've given you the land there are lands there are cities there are countries god has given to you some of you here you should be a, a, a city taker a country taker what is piercing is piercing is piercing is piercing but mix it with faith i was telling a couple who had been sent from they were missionaries in another country and they but whilst they were there, they became lay people and they were any money. Wife is working at a nice place. And the command has come from the Lord. Move to this other place because there's a big cathedral there. It will advance you in the ministry and it will help you to, to do what you entered that country to do. Not that it's a, something you don't want to do. You're already on the mission field. But now you are moving to another. Then there's, oh, it's like, yeah. There are no jobs there. Oh. There are no. This nice job that I have here. I should leave it there. Eh? And I said, ah, but when you were going to that country, you had a job here in Ghana. When you were leaving it, I, hey, what will happen if I go to that place? Hey, this job, if I just got the job, they are paying me, then should quote the amount. And they are also giving me, then should give the free benefits. So now when I go to this country, what is going to happen there? I said, God will look after you. We don't work with God based on what we can see French standing in front of us. If you do that, you are not a man of faith. You are not a man of faith. The Bible says we are not of them that draw back unto perdition, but we are of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Yes. You don't draw back like that. Let the children of today who come to God by their faith by their faith let the sisters of today you are looking for a husband who should show be a work card you yeah, must have a car that's why they want somebody with a car because they can see that hey Obapa, Nika, Obre, when you are going to school when you are going for secondary school secondary school nobody comes to visit you because when they come once it's like yeah it takes a whole
You see their faces, Ghana girls, Nigerian girls, African girls. You see them looking at their faces like this. Even when you look at the man, it's like he must look nice. He must be well arranged. Dress well, shoe well, everything well, car well, a good job. Then say, oh, I like him as a beloved. When these brothers who don't have car, they don't have house, they don't have any proper job, would be uh, if they come and visit you, then you are annoyed. He just has a nice voice. Oh, sister, praise God. I like the way you come to church. Uh, have you got Makane? Do you, do you have Poemano? <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 you, do you wake up for prayer, uh, flow press how many hours do you pray during flow press are you one hour or you go all the way first peter i'm talking about faith is obedience you just laugh don't just laugh Eh? think about yourself you see Christians who don't pay tithe you say you are a believer when they say who are the believers say I am a believer you are a doubter you are a doubter you don't really, you don't really believe and when they are entering marriage school then you see that they go and find money and pay the one year backlog it's like I well, clear all their tithe because I have told them that don't counsel anybody for marriage who has not paid tithe it's a condition my own personal one not god god didn't give that instruction but i have given it in the church because me too I, it's a service i'm providing and if i'm providing that service everywhere they provide a service you pay for it so that i can get some to pay myself at the end of the month that's all Even some people don't come to church well when they are going to marina fina or my boss sorry because now you can see that if you, if you go and join Aladura International Ministries, nobody knows you, so they may not come for your wedding. The old bad church. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, sorry, oh, Mr. Wedding. Fat chair me, fat chair me. You see, I was coming, oh, I don't know what happened. Pandemic, no. When it finished, then I don't know. I, I, I went online. I went online. What's your name online? What, what is your name? We have the history, we can check. We can check the history of all those who logged on online. The last time you went on Facebook is three years ago. Look, I'll, I'll finish on this note because there's no need for extension of message. When you do not believe, you, you are disobedient. In First Peter chapter 2 verse 7, and to you therefore which believe he is precious beautiful that's why we say those who believe in god they believe in his anointed person whom he has sent and when you believe the person who is anointed is precious yeah. so when you believe you believe in god you believe in his servant so when you believe in god he's precious to you God is precious. Is there not a song like that? I not Jesus. Awesome When I start, then you hear, then after that you stop. <laughs> I don't understand the word. I don't understand why you are so quick to say you know the song. And then after the first line or first word, you don't know anything again. Yeah. To you who believe, he is precious. And if you believe in God, he becomes precious to you. Serving him, doing anything for him is something that's, he's a treasure. 